Hi there, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today I'm calling this video Little Big Things. They're little things you do in bonsai that make a big difference in the end. These little operations that I'm doing are probably, you know, too minor to put on a video. They may be just, you know, clipping the top off a tree or an operation that's very quick, but uh, they can make a big difference to your tree in the end. The first tree I'm starting with is the Dwarf Schifflera bonsai. It's growing in a clump style or a forest. And I want to keep the height low and I want to grow it out wider on the edges. So what I want to do today is just prune off the growing tips of the vertical sections of the growth and leave the side growth, which is going to get longer, untouched. For this operation, we need to go way up in the canopy of the trees and I need to find the growing tips for all this new growth that's coming up. In the canopy here, I found a growing tip, more of a vertical growing tip, so I want to prune that off shorter. That'll take vigor out, out of the top of the tree and it'll put more vigor in the sides of the trees to grow the canopy out wider. So I'm looking for an outward facing leaf scar, which is, there's one right here. And I'll prune it just above that, like that. Removing the new growth, and we'll get some new growth coming out from that leaf scar as a new branch. I'll be doing this operation all over the top of the tree, looking for leaf scars to prune to, so I get some directional pruning, and pruning off the tips, the growing tips. Here's the tree with the pruning operation done. It only took about 10 minutes. And you can see I've left it, you know, the new growth untouched on the left hand and the right hand side to grow the canopy wider. And I've kept the height about the same as what we had it in the club show in fall. So it, it makes the tree look wider and uh, more mature. The next tree we're going to do some little things to is my Sarissa Fotida. It's in flower now. It's been flowering for about the last month beautiful covering of white flowers which looks really nice. For the club show in fall I was pruning these clumps of moss up to look like bushes and I've kind of been working on this one a little bit uh, the other day and the ones back here are, they've overgrown so much that they're all kind of growing into each other. Here's the clumps of moss at the back of the planting you can see they've just kind of all molded in with each other there's no individual bushes or anything. So I'm going to prune those up today and get, you know, the moss back under control. For me, moss is part of the part of the landscape and the bonsai tree itself. I uh, I have moss in my larch forest that's five years old that I've been pruning as bushes. So it's not a temporary thing that you apply before a show. It can be a permanent thing with your tree, and if you manage your moss correctly, it can stay for many many years. This clump of moss I could even slice it off with a spatula and plant it on another tree if I wanted. They don't have roots that grow down into the soil. They just kind of grip the surface of the soil. So all this, these moss bushes they're not a temporary thing, they're part of your tree. That's the way I like to think of them anyway. So I want to prune this to look more like a bush. And to do that, we don't want just a smooth rounded surface here. We want to break it up like this one is. So kind of some branch structure. I want to undercut it so it looks like it has, you know, foliage above the trunk line. So you can almost imagine a little trunk under here. Now there is a limit you can undercut it, but you can get it undercut quite a bit. So I want to add some detail to this one here. So I'm going to sort of separate. You can see it coming off the ground a bit there. So I'll create some, break up the canopy into some, you know, some layered structure. 
And it may look a little funny at first because it's, you know, not very green underneath here. But it'll green up again. You just need to keep your moss, you know, give it a good soaking twice a day. Like that. Keep it humid. And it'll grow really nicely. So I'm just breaking up this moss to look like little bushes. You can use tweezers too to separate kind of the line between your bushes just to clean out some moss to give it a sort of a division line like that. The best thing to do is go on the internet and look at pictures of bushes. So I type in African landscapes in Google Images and you get some really nice pictures of some landscapes. You can study, see what the bushes look like under these acacia tile style trees. For the clumps around the back, I'm going to tweezer out the moss between the bushes. Little bushes like this can really add to the miniature appearance of your tree. Kind of adds a magical touch to your bonsai. Almost creating a miniature landscape that matches your scale of your tree. I've got the moss bushes pruned up. I've got them various heights, sort of slightly different styles. And yeah, they look a lot better. They're individual bushes rather than one giant piece of moss. Up top on the tree, you can see all the nice white flowers all over it. Here's a shot of those flowers. The tree does, however, need a slight pruning to the top. Some of these long shoots we can prune back. And just give a overall trim to the top of the tree. For the top pruning, I'm just going to use a regular pair of scissors. They're nice and long, the blades, so I can get a nice curve to the top of the tree. So there we go. The idea of trimming the top like this is to encourage the sides of the canopy to grow wider. So I'm taking figure out of the top and letting the sides grow untouched. So they should grow stronger than the top of the tree. Thus getting a wider canopy. And we'll get some back budding and a little denser growth on top. This is a profile prune. And it does a pretty good job. I'm just going to take a little more off the front here. Under the canopy, you can see there's a few branches that are kind of drooping down over here that I think would be better pruned off. So this one right here, it's contributing to the width a bit, but I don't like it hanging down like that. So I think we're just going to remove it. Like that. This will grow as a nice cutting too. There's a few low branches on this side too that can be removed. That one there. I don't know if I want to remove this one. It's kind of contributing to the width, but it is low. I guess it better go. You can always grow new stuff. There we go. Bring off some of these lower leaves. Create a cleaner bottom side to the canopy. About a month ago I made a video starting three new bonsai trees. 
This was the sarissa cutting that I planted and it's doing really well. And it's time for its first pruning also. I believe this was the front in the last video. I'm going to turn the tree around because the trunk curves this way towards the viewer. So I'm gonna make this the front of the tree. I want to grow this tree in a similar style, an African acacia type style with a flat top. This little side branch here is going to be reduced. I don't want it, you know, competing with the main trunk, which it does now. It's almost the same thickness. So I want to take a lot of vigor out of that branch. So I'm going to reduce it down as far as I can. So the vigor goes into the main trunks of the tree. So here I go. I'm going to come in from above here and kind of cut about there. There we go. And again, this will be planted as a cutting. I'm just going to use regular scissors again and prune a flat top type canopy on it. Like that. So there's the parent tree with the cutting from it growing in a similar style and I the reason I'm growing so many sarissa cuttings is I may create a forest someday a giant African landscape using these sarissa trees to look like acacia trees. So I've got a lot of cuttings on the go from the parent tree that I'm starting to shape to look like the flat top acacia trees. The next trees I'm going to do a little bit of work on is my two African acacia trees. In a previous video I, I cut them back from you know fairly large seedlings, cutting them down in height, hoping to get back budding which is happening really nicely. So the next operation I want to do is pinch off the vigorous tips. This tree is a good example of what operation I'm doing now. The, uh, when the tree was cut back, the highest bud here has grown really well. It's got one, two, three, about four nodes on it, leaf nodes. Whereas the lower buds have sprouted leaves, but not really branches. So all the vigor is going up the tree and to this one branch. So what I want to do is cut off the tip of this branch which will signal the tree that it shouldn't be growing here and it'll sprout branches out down below. So here I go, I'm gonna cut the tip off and I'm gonna go, this is our apex, so I'm gonna take it right off to this first leaf here. Right to there. That will reduce the vigor in the tip of the tree and encourage these lower buds to develop into branches. The cuttings that I took of the acacia trees, you can see the woody one here is growing new leaves. So it looks like it survived. It's growing as a cutting. The other one, which was a, you know, a midsection cutting off the branch has also grown leaves on it. So it looks like it survived. The tip of that branch didn't look like it survived. It just dried up. So it looks like with the acacia cuttings, the older woody sections seem to root better than the younger sections. And all the trees that I put in water have died so far anyway. They're still looking miserable. But cuttings in the soil, woody cuttings look like they've rooted and are doing all right. I finished pruning all the tips off the vigorous growth on the acacia seedlings in order to try and balance the vigor of the tree. So that's another small, tiny operation that is important to the trees in the end. Before I get to the next tree, I just thought we'd take a break and I'll show you the larch forest in its winter glory. <laughs> so let's pan out here. We'll look outside the window. Out here, there's the larch forest. It's pretty well buried in snow. 
the last tree I'm going to do a little bit of work to in this video is my yucca tree. In the last video, I pruned it off midsummer, removing all the foliage so it was just cut down to a bare trunk and hoping that it would sprout new foliage, and it has. It, it did really well. I'm pleased with the results. So I think the lesson I learned is that hard pruning of the yucca tree should only be done in a, the heat of the summer. So when it's warm and sunny out, and then you'll get a lot of new sprouts of growth and branches on the, uh, the woody sections of the tree. I have some small shoots here. With the new growth, I want to balance the vigor of the branches. I'm worried that these little ones here will die off if this one gets too strong. So what I want to do is prune this back, leaving green foliage on it. I'm not going to cause it to die. But I want to prune it back to take vigor out of this, you know, really thick one that's growing well. And try and encourage vigor into these small ones. So here I go. I'm going to come in right about here, leaving some green leaves, but cutting the tip off. I want to do the same on this one back here. So again, I'm trying to reduce the vigor in the strong shoot and increase the vigor in these small ones. So here I go again. There we go. The last branches that I'm going to cut back are these vigorous ones on this side of the tree. So again, I'm going to just come in and prune them right to here. And this one to here. That looks good. So we're leaving green growth in all our growing tips and we're trying to balance the vigor of the tree. When I cut back all the new growth in the summer, I did get some sprouts of foliage coming out from the base here. So I just carved those out so they didn't grow from the base. I didn't want any branches coming out here. So this tree, I, I'm really happy with it. It's becoming one of my favorite trees. It's very unusual and I think I've got the technique kind of under control for it, pruning it only in the heat of the summer, you know, major hard pruning, and letting it grow for the rest of the year. The work never ends with bonsai. It's a continuous process of little steps that make a big difference. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, do something green today. The other day I saw people driving to an exercise place and jogging on a treadmill. And I thought, why don't they just walk there, get some more exercise and avoid all that pollution. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.